Today, we're gonna be looking for fossils. We're gonna discuss what fossils tell us about organisms that have lived before us and how fossils are made. Are you ready? Let's start exploring. Come look with me. Fossils. What do they tell us about organisms that have lived on the earth before humans? And how are they made? We're gonna take a closer look at fossils today. Are you ready? Here we go. Fossils are the remains or marks of animals and plants that have lived long ago. Paleontologists study and collect fossils. Animals, plants, nest, eggs, footprints, and even animal waste, yes, their poop, can become fossils. <coughs> fossils take a long time to form, millions of years, a long time. They are made from the hard parts of animals and plants like their teeth and bones. But how do fossils form? Let's see. Shortly after an animal dies, it is buried by sediment, by mud and dirt. The softer parts of the animal begins to decay. The animal's bones are protected from rotting by the layers of sediment. More sediment, more dirt, more mud layers cover the animal's remains. Minerals slowly replace the calcium phosphate in the bones. So the bones then harden and become rocks. Movement of the earth's surface lifts the sediments, pushing the fossil closer to the surface. Erosion wears away the remaining rock layers, exposing the preserved remains to people looking for fossils, like paleontologists. The first living organisms on Earth lived in the sea. These sea creatures made good fossils because of their hard bones and hard shells. The bottom right picture is a trilobite. Trilobites were some of the most successful of all early animals here on Earth. They lived about 521 million years ago, but they existed in our oceans for almost 300 million years. That's crazy. Good job, trilobites. <laughs> Slowly, plants began to grow on the land. This took millions of years. These plants have left fossils in the rock as well. Imprint is an impression left by a thin object in sand or mud that hardens into rock. This imprint becomes a fossil too. So what do fossils teach us? Fossils teach us about animals. We can see what their bones, teeth, claws, eggs, muscles, organs, and even nests look like. Fossil footprints can tell us how much animals and dinosaurs weigh and how they must have walked. And of course, knowledge of these extinct species can help us protect organisms today. When did these animals live? Hmm. The first fish were 570 million years ago. The first plants, 440 million years ago. The first insects and amphibians, 400 million years ago. The first reptiles, 360 million years ago. Oh, you know, the dinosaurs, that was 245 million years ago. And the first birds were 210 million years ago. Wow, there's been living organisms on Earth for a very long time. If we look at the different layers of fossils that we see on the right, we see that the fossils closest to the surface of the Earth are in Earth's youngest layers. The fossils near the bottom are the oldest layers of the Earth. We looked very closely at fossils today. Thank you for joining me. And I think I kind of want to go see if there's any fossils in my backyard. Until next time.